amazing artist. Today we're going to be inspired by abstract artist Kandinsky and the story The Noisy Paint Box. I would like you to select a music of your choice to listen to while you doodle today. Let the music inspire you and guide your pen across the paper. There are three different options you can choose between when creating today's assignment. The first option is after completing your musical doodle, you can use any medium of your choice to color in the shapes and areas that you have created. The second option is to not use color, but instead stick with the same marker or pencil, and after creating your continuous line and creating your areas and shapes, is to choose different lines and patterns to complete and fill in inside of them. If you'd like to choose option three, it's a combination of both. You can use both color and shapes and patterns when completing your design. No matter which one you choose, have fun creating your musical doodles. Remember, it's not a time to scribble, it's a time to guide your pencil according to the music and how it makes you feel. Once you find the music that you want to draw to, uncap your marker or your pencil and get ready to draw. Make sure that you're drawing along with the music. Don't just scribble on your paper, but use the music to inspire your lines as they loop and swirl and dance around the paper. It's really cool if you do overlap your lines and that gets us ready for the next step of the project. You can use any medium that you have at home to color your composition. It could be oil pastels, chalk pastels, paint, markers, or even crayon. Today I chose to use the simple medium of crayon. Even though it's simple, it does have beautiful, vibrant colors. I'm going to use the music to help inspire me in my color choices today. Remember, the second choice is a more intricate design. You're still going to let the music guide you through your initial doodle lines, not scribbling, but gliding, dancing, and twirling across the paper. But after this initial drawing is done, that's when you'll choose what designs, lines, and patterns you will use to fill into the spaces and shapes that you've created. Here are some examples of the pattern and the color choices that you have. You choose which option that you want to do or even combine the two. If you want to do the more intricate details, lines, and patterns, and then use color to enhance your composition, please do so. I hope you enjoyed that quick video. Now remember, you have the three options to choose from. The musical doodle in color, the musical doodle in design, or the combination of both. Now, if you'd like to, you can snap a picture of your work and share it with me either through my Google Classroom, through GJM Ospreys in the Art Room on Facebook, or you can email me at aesburn at lehsd.org. And as I always say, stay healthy, stay happy, and remember, you're amazing.